we're getting legit about what we need to do for this race, for the safety of the volunteers, the workers, the you know, basin, all about the crew. Oh yeah, good morning. I'm awake. I don't quite know how, but I am awake. I'm gonna roll out real quick here where I'm staying uh, and then get in the car, zip to um, this other ski resort. I don't even know, Snow Basin, I think, Utah. Anyway, let's try it. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do, all right? That's, that's all you can try. That's all you can try in this world. See what you can do. Oh my goodness, it's exciting. It is exciting. Here we go. Roll it out, roll it out. Oh yeah. Oh, Cirque series. We got some rain last night, ladies and gentlemen. This is this. Is, I'm I'm okay with that. We'll see. I have so I've got a. I do have a, an hour drive, and after yesterday's race, uh, you know the legs, of course, are tired. A little tired. You know, I know they're going to be tired, and uh, we'll see how sore they are actually when I arrive. But this rain and cloud cover is. We'll see if it's you know uh, going to stick around and if it's an hour away from us as well, but this is, I'd say, great news. Um, the cooler, the better in my books. What does the temperature say? Oh, I don't even know where it's at in this car, but anyway, we're off. Looking like rain the entire race. Looking like rain the entire race. Okay, time to go register and uh, yeah, here we are. There's the uh, there's the finish line right there. So and there's there's the mountain. Oh, Nelly. You watch the vlog? Woo! What's up? What's your name? Noah. Awesome, man. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know. I'm here. Yeah. Is this your family? Hey, what's up? It dried pretty good after yesterday's creek creek washing. Yes, it did. Looking, looking fresh. Look, looking fresh. We're getting legit about what we need to do for this race, for the safety of the volunteers, the workers, the you know, basin, all of us, the crew. But you cannot race in lightning. We're not going to out there. Cancel. And it wasn't meant to be today at the Xterra race. That is okay. What are you going to do? Lightning wins the day. Uh, they cancel the race. Uh, at about 9.15, we waited for 15 minutes and they decided to call it because of lightning risk. You guys know how I don't like lightning, especially out in the mountains, so I'm okay with it. And guess what? Turn a negative. You know, it's a little bit of a negative because another, you know, another night away from the family last night. Uh, I had to change my flight yesterday, but turn a negative into a positive. Uh, what does it mean? It means I can start recovery a day earlier you know what i mean like what are you gonna do you can't control the weather uh but my next race is september 29th out in new hampshire at the u.s trail championships uh and then the big dog amsterdam marathon is oh my gosh what is it five or six no nah, it's i think it's about six weeks away so this is okay that i was unable to race today it just means i can get my legs recovered and back to running back to training and remember i asked the question of the day about two months ago i believe i said do you if you had to choose one and i know this is not how life works but if you had to choose one 
Do you prefer training more or racing more? And for me, I would if I had to choose one, I would say training. So again, the, the cancellation, where'd that go? There it is, there's my singlet. So the cancellation of the Xterra race, uh, basically it speeds up the process of me getting back to full training. And you all know like my volume of training is about to go up quite a bit getting ready for Amsterdam. So I'm a, you know, it's water under the bridge. You can't change it and we move on. All right, I am in Salt Lake City now. I'm gonna go get a five mile run in, nice and easy. Again, just getting just getting back to uh, what I love doing, training, training, training. So, all right, shall we go explore Salt Lake? Let's do this, come on. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, back to Denver, back to the studio, I, I, I have to say, back to chilly Denver. I got the hoodie on, it is cold here. I can sense that uh, crisp fall cross country weather is right around the horizon for a lot of us, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, so I'm excited for that. Uh, but good trip to Utah. Um, I'll probably talk about the Cirque race uh, in tomorrow's vlog when I have a little more time. And even though the race was canceled today, the, the Xterra race, it's, uh, it was disappointing. But at the end of the day, you gotta keep everyone safe, including the people. I didn't think of this when it was being, when the race director canceled it this morning. Uh, you gotta think about the volunteers up on the mountain who are waiting there. Now they weren't, I don't think they were above tree line by any means, but they're just, you know, kind of waiting for us to run up the mountain. So at the end of the day, it was probably the right call after I thought about it a little bit more because the, the I didn't hear any thunder, but anyway, that's what I, that's what she mentioned as we were leaving was uh, don't forget about the volunteers out there waiting for us in the freezing weather. So uh, anyways, okay. I always want to strive to bring as much value to these vlogs as possible, even when I can't film a race like today. So here we go. I was thinking on the airplane ride home, how can I bring all of you even more value to the daily vlog or should I say to the weekly vlog? So here's what I decided upon. I've been thinking about this for a while, but uh, and if you follow me on Strava, you can certainly see my training plan. But what I'm going to attempt to do every week so every monday morning in the description okay so the description of the videos down below you have to click if you're on mobile you have to click on that little arrow i'm going to try to remember and do my best to post uh, my weekly training schedule for the upcoming week now with a caveat big big asterisk i often change my training during a week depending on how the body's feeling, if I have any aches or pains, uh, if life just gets busy. In fact, I quite often have to flip-flop runs. And the reason I'm doing this, posting the training schedule down below, and also I'll try and put it in a title of the vlog, is because I wanna be as open with you all as possible about not only what I believe in in training, but frankly, how I, in, how I enjoy to train, okay? Uh, so that's number one. And number two is a lot of questions come in through Instagram about training. So hopefully this helps at least give people a snapshot of my week coming up and it might help answer a few questions whether they come from uh, Instagram or Twitter and so anyway there you go that's a new strategy 
for the vlog. I hope you enjoy it and can get a little value out of that. And keyword, we're gonna go with lightning because lightning won the day, that's okay. And question of the day, when was the last time, and I apologize if I asked this recently, I may have. I, and sometimes the days blend together, but this is actually the sec, I just, it, it just hit me. This is the second race of 2019 that was canceled because of, uh, uh, because of weather, or I guess I should say mother nature. So the first one was avalanche danger in, back in March in Aspen, Colorado. My brother and I, we were gonna do a vertical kilometer race canceled because of avalanche danger now and now lightning anyway it's been a crazy 2019 so and the question of the day when was the last time you had a race canceled why was it canceled where was it any epic or crazy stories are welcome down below in the comments all right everyone thanks for being here thanks for watching and we'll get you uh we'll get you the Cirque series race from yesterday on the right hand side if you want to watch yesterday's race at the Cirque series fly the w and on the left i'm just gonna pick a random training vlog a big training vlog but a random one over the past six months where i go out and get some vertical all right see beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow